Hi everybody, we are here's my buddy Mr. Sim from <laughs> iGarage and we have just stepped out of this little car here and we are now at Amansuria at the United Star Corporation, the your friendly Toyota dealership. And we're gonna walk in here. Now I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, we stop here, Mr. Sim. Yeah. Turn around and say let the people see where we've come in. Yeah. We have come in come that, from, uh, that BHN, that blue Avanza. <laughs> that car is my Avanza, it's 14 years old, it's done 320,000 kilometers. And we are here in the Toyota showroom with Mr. Sim. And we're going to have a look at the new Toyota Avanza, the little baby Wellfire. And look, it's registered. And we're going to go for a we're going to go for a drive in this car. Hi, welcome to YS Kong Driving. And uh, today is a very special day. Uh, with me is uh, Mr. Sim of iGarage. Say hi. Hi again. <laughs> <laughs> again. So we are here again mm. to test out the drive something. Yeah, this is called what? This is. We are not in rush, right? <laughs> we are not that, that rush, right? Okay, we are not in a rush. Yeah, we are in Avanza. Okay, yes, this is the. Oh, new, new, new Avanza. New Avanza 2019. Mm -hmm. uh, the car has not been launched yet, yeah? Mm. We already have another video. Uh, it's on YS Kong Driving and we did a walk around. Yep. And we are very lucky we are able to get the car mm -hmm. to drive and must thank our sponsor, mm -hmm. uh, United Star Corporation, yeah? Our neighborhood. Uh, our neighborhood. Good Toyota, friendly Toyota dealer. Yeah. From Aman Surya, right? From Aman Surya, yes. Yeah. And uh, so, sorry, a lot of traffic here. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the mm -hmm. Avanza in terms of driving in the city. Because yeah. uh, this is a car I use a lot. Yeah. Uh, I have the old one. Yeah. I also use few times. Uh, what you use for? Uh? Carry uh, girlfriend. Hey, don't so so don't say so loud. My wife still behind. <laughs> no lah. I move house from A to B. Yeah, a lot of stuff lah. So yeah. where is A? Where is B? A is PJ. B is uh, Jalan Kuching, Taman Wayu. Hmm. Wow, how many trips you took? Ah, like five to six. Carry a lot of stuff. Table, chair, this and that. Wow, more than I can imagine. I didn't know that I got so many rubbish. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So how about this car, the drive? Well, I from in terms of looks, uh, it mm. looks a lot better than the Yours ones uh, that I have, oh, yeah. The old design got got steering button control. Eh? Yeah. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. And wow, more. Mm -hmm. It looks great. The the oh. multimedia system yeah the hey, this one can connect to phone right yes okay actually i'm already connect to uh we call android auto okay so the good of android auto is you don't need to do anything you just need to talk to it like okay google mm. call my wife why are you calling your wife? She's sitting behind you. Will you Good want? Life work. You see? Ah, <laughs> so good. Ah, you see? Start calling. Okay. Then, what do we come out? Now, what do you expect your wife to do? At, at least I can listen the the, the phone ring lah. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she okay, don't okay. want to accept my phone. Okay, okay. I can answer. Oh, okay, mm. you can talk or you can press the button. Yes. Right? All right. That's the option. Good. So yeah. you can play any tune from your phone and all that, yeah? Something like that. And okay. it also easier to do a navigation. Okay, Google, I want to go home. 
Your home is 28 minutes from your location by car in moderate traffic. Yeah, is it? Wow, it's so very convenient. Yeah. But why are you going home? We haven't even finished this. <laughs> <laughs> homesick, homesick. Okay, okay, cancel, cancel. Don't go home. Okay, don't go home, don't go home. Uh, because otherwise you keep on telling you to turn here, turn there. <laughs> okay, Google. How's the weather tomorrow? In Petaling Jaya tomorrow, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 33 and a low of 25. Ah, that's the convenience lah. That's how the convenience. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, my old car definitely didn't have this. <laughs> So Mine now, but nowadays cars are all are like mm. handphones already like They are extension of your handphone True So that's very good Okay, mm. in terms of driving uh, Yep Okay, the, this is a 4-speed gearbox mm. And is it any better or worse than uh, any other gearbox? Mm. Just compared to your old Avanza? My old okay. Avanza has the same gearbox I think Yep mm -hmm. but, old... so, but some people are saying Hey, why mm. only 4-speed gearbox? Mm -hmm. uh, because the price, the cost, yeah, the cost is the cost. Mm -hmm. and the mechanism is simple. Mm. Yeah, it's easy to maintain. It's very but durable. Actually, driving slow, uh, mm. there's no difference. Yep. If this, if you're going to drive at between 110, 120, and you're going around town now at 50 mm. kilometers per hour, yep. it's, it's still a very good option. If you had an 8 speed gearbox, what gear do you think you'd be here? 3, uh, three, four? three, three or 4? Four? Yeah, yeah correct. So I'm also in 4. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay, I think it's uh, okay. I think uh, some people uh, worry about the noise level. So, mm. Mr. Sim, what do you think? Noise level, okay. Mm. For me, mm. Avanza is a car very good for people doing small business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Entry level family car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You you what is an entry level family? Okay. Maybe you have few kids. That's okay. not entry level. Like entry level one kid only, you know. Uh, Just now the, the, the standard is different than video. Yeah. <laughs> Baru yeah. masuk family. Okay lah. Yeah. I, I think no, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, for me, seriously, uh for me I think Avanza is a very good vehicle for uh small business. Yeah, carry stuff. Agreed, agreed. Mm -hmm. Moving house. <laughs> Correct. Moving house. Mm. Because the the box size car, mm. it had a lot of space. Yeah. So we go, had to, the go to Rambutan Farm. Carry papaya. Mm. I think I've driven the Rush before. Yes. And it sounded okay. The noise level now is a bit better. No? I think they have done some changes to the gearing. Ah. Okay, uh, of course my Avanza was a 1.3 mm. and because it's a 1.3 they have to gear it very low very low gear they made engine made a lot of noise car go not mm -hmm. so fast yep. uh, then for the 1.5 it was a bit better not as low gearing as mine mm -hmm. and now uh, this one seems to be a bit better you know it's quite silent yeah see like driven driven in town and all like that mm -hmm. It feels quite okay. Yeah, it's quite feels okay. Seriously, uh, not so noisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Correct. Correct. In this price range, for me, it's quite okay, lah. Everything is looks quite uh, refreshed. Yeah. The the inside, especially this Android Auto, I seriously like it. Like it. Mm. Seriously, yeah. Uh, mm. Driving it like this, uh, is very comfortable. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Did, does it feel very familiar to your Avanza? I think this is like much more better, for five levels better than my Avanza. Mm -hmm. Because my Avanza is very noisy. Yeah. Okay. I think they have done something to the soundproofing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's much better now. Yep. And the gearing is better. And I think the transmission also they have got some improvements here and there. Mm -hmm. How old is your Avanza? 2005 2005, that means 14 years First batch of Avanza Wow 1.3 Luckily it's automatic <laughs> Hey That was the fastest Avanza in the world Okay Okay mm. Now it's 14 years old And mm. uh, just now we drove it Yep To the shop mm -hmm. So as you you would have noted the noise was a lot louder, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
and definitely this one is now we are talking no need to shout one see yeah true if we are having a normal conversation of course we are going at 10 kilometers per hour lah. <laughs> <laughs> i told you friday in no but i must i must try it on the highway lah, a little yep. bit mm -hmm. oh yo look at that one the bar drop man Ayo. that's called lowering the bar on the left Whoa, luckily you I hope, didn't go I, that I hope somebody does something about it because somebody you. won't notice it if you go and yeah that always happens there will right? be some remodeling work mm -hmm. oops oops I wound down the back glass by mistake okay this is you see the thing about the vehicle like this you can reach easily this, yeah you can easily okay. reach the Thank you for sponsoring the touching. No, no problem, no problem at all. <laughs> wow, the traffic is quite heavy. No that's la. the that's the daily daily KL PJ uh, traffic condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are driving following the flow of the traffic. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think the Avanza does very well. So mm -hmm. for as, as a car for running around, uh, mm. it's very easy. Wow, you are driving it very ninety, like a rally, like a rally car. Oi, kau jump palu eh? Ninety kilometers. That, that corner you do at ninety. Uncle. <laughs> 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 Okay, check power. Okay, now 110. Wow, not bad, wait. 120, oh, careful. Shh. Shh. <laughs> I just <laughs> testing power. Mm, 110. Two seconds only. Okay. Yep. Actually, not bad, lah. You can. Mm. Yep. I think with the dual VDTI, mm -hmm. the engine pulls better. True. Yeah. So, That's true. And uh, compared to my old engine, and also the extra 200 cc makes a difference. Uh. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So if you are running around KL or Klang Valley, if you want to go to Klang to eat bakute or whatever. No matter you in, want to go, where you want to go. In this type of traffic, uh, mm -hmm. you will be about the speed only. Uh. Mm -hmm. We are now going at 70 kilometers per hour. Mm -hmm. And yep. the Avanza does well. Yeah, very comfortable. Okay, comfortable. what do you think of the seats? Not bad, huh? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. it for well. this, for this price, yeah. Bow leather or? Uh, seriously, I don't like leather. Because leather is, is it, it very hot. Is under it? the sun? Oh. Yeah. When then you, you burn your backside. The car, yeah, it burn my backside. That's very important. But my other Avanza, because of the use, ah. Uh, yeah, the seat also torn already. And this kind of fabric, yes, it don't burn the backside, but it absorbs the smell. That's another problem, lah. You mean it becomes because, smelly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So got good and bad, lah. Leather it won't. Yeah, leather, leather easier to wipe, lah. Yeah, but yeah, but the leather burn your backside, lah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go by the back way. <laughs> wow! Just check a bit of cornering, lah. Mm -hmm. I like your driving line. Is it? Yeah, your racing line. Got me. Very correct one. Got lah, got lah. People say I turn steering like old school like that. So what is the new school? <laughs> For new school, they go hand over hand one. Oh. Never let go steering one. I also can do lah, but I don't like it because when you do like that, you have to sit very, you have to sit very close to the steering. Oh, the car got blind spot. Where? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. Not blind spot. Blind spot warning. Yeah, blind spot warning. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Blind spot monitor. Hmm. Mm. You see, that's yeah. the problem yeah. of. You test Chinese. too many cars. Oh yeah, no, there's, no, no, a, there's, there's also a recorder. Mm, yeah. True, true, true. Recorder.
holder and blind spot monitor. Ah, uh, this one got a rear recorder, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. There you can see. They call it the evidence camera. Ah, okay. So in case of anything, uh, you can mm. use that as evidence. Oh, it's very convenient like that. Mm. So no, no need to find a accessory to install by yourself. Everything is done. Mm. That's that's cool. <laughs> My Avanza still good, oh. yeah. That's the that's the reputation of the Toyota. Yeah. I I don't know. always last one. I don't think it's worth a lot of money. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong with it except that the seat is torn lah. I just go and mm -hmm. spend hundred ringgit repair the seat. Mm -hmm. It's running. It yep. has never broken down. Yep. Correct. Got lah. One time the front fan. Mm -hmm. Aircon. Uh, no, it's the front electrical fan. Okay. I think it's the aircon fan lah. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. Okay. And we didn't change the whole fan. We changed the motor only. Mm -hmm. Thirty five ringgit. Wow. So in the course of its uh, fourteen years, uh, mm. we have changed shock absorber mm. one time. Mm -hmm. So I think it's time to change again lah. Mm -hmm. And then we painted the car two times. Oh, ah, okay. Because the paint died many times. <laughs> you know, you overuse because, it. No, because of the sun. Ah. What you think I go and scrape the paint or what? <laughs> no, la, maybe got bird shit, then you wash. Ah, yeah, bird that's shit, another thing. Uh. No, but bird shit, you must worry about these cars uh, because they're high. Mm. You must always jaga the roof, you know. Actually, buying a car like this, uh, you mm. don't need to think so much. Yeah. What do you need? I need the seven seater. Okay, pass. I need economical car. Pass. I need low maintenance. Pass. Mm -hmm. What more you want? Does it have to be beautiful? Look like a mini. Well fire. Well fire. Pass. <laughs> okay, I want Android Play. Pass. Mm hmm. I want aircon. Pass. <laughs> I want back aircon. Pass. I want. DVD, uh, what uh, DVD? Recorder, digital video recorder. Mm. Pass. Back one also got pass lagi. Mm. Uh, radio control for the steering yeah. This is. Yeah, that's quite surprising. Uh, this is a simple one. Mm -hmm. Okay, that allows you to up and down the volume and up and down the channel. That's it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. What it doesn't have is auto start, start stop. Oh, okay. But to me. <coughs> the first thing I do when I do a test car, auto start stop, where is the off switch? Because <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, you come to a traffic light, mm -hmm. the engine just dies. Uh -huh. Then when you're on the start, you take your foot off the brake, you mm -hmm. must wait for the engine to start before it goes. Now mm -hmm. you just start, you goes. Okay. So, auto start stop is not, not a deal breaker. Lah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and our weather is so hot. Yeah. So I always run the aircon on. Okay. So Mrs. Sim, how the aircon at the back? Cool lah. Cool lah. Okay, I'm comfortable enough ah. No problem. <laughs> anyway, uh, Sim, do you mm. know that uh, the Rush, okay, and even the Arus, okay, and the Avanza, mm -hmm. they all built on the same platform. Yep. Correct. They come so, out from a same production line, is it? Yes. I I think in Indonesia they might be different, but actually the whole uh, lineage uh, mm -hmm. comes from. It started with the Avanza. Yep. Correct. It was the Avanza that came out first, and then they they develop develop other variants, uh, mm -hmm. including the Rush. Yep. From the Avanza. So this True. is what you call the grandfather of all. Mm -hmm. Uh, the chong chong yeah. <laughs> the all the original company. Uh, the origin. Uh, the the genuine recipe. Uh, the real thing. The real thing. So we are now headed back uh -huh. towards so, the place. So we have the very identical real wheel drive DNA lah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a coincidence, but you notice all the high performance cars, all the mm -hmm. premium cars, mm -hmm. they're all rear wheel drive, right? Mm -hmm. So, this one premium, wrong? 
I still remember you told me the benefit of this kind of car. Why it have to be rear wheel drive? Yeah, for climbing hill. And and what did I say? Uh, heavy loaded. Ah, for well, heavy loading. Mm -hmm. When you load the car, mm -hmm. you know, then you got more traction, ma. If yep. you if you load the the back of the car up and mm -hmm. it's front wheel drive and you're climbing hill, mm -hmm. you will have problem because the front lifts up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to me, I'm I've always been a rear wheel drive man. Uh, call it old school or what? Uh, the front wheel drive car started with the Mini in 1960 something or 50 something. 50. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think the first the the first commercially viable front wheel drive car was the Mini. It was made for like the Volkswagen, you know, for every it was yep. kind of like everybody's car. Mm -hmm. Mr. And, Bean one. Uh, Mr. Bean one. <laughs> Mr. Bean was a newer one. Okay. And then of course when the Mini Cooper won the Monte Carlo rally, it oh. became famous, it became a, what you call a enthusiast car. La. So mm -hmm. everybody started modifying the cars in, yep. you know, with more powerful engines. But the whole idea of front wheel drive was actually to keep the cost production down. Mm -hmm. Of course, there are some advantages to front wheel drive. La. Front wheel drive actually is more fuel efficient mm -hmm. because it wastes less energy mm -hmm. and it's also cheaper to produce. Mm -hmm. So that's why a lot of cars went front wheel drive. Mm -hmm. And also front wheel drive cars are easier to drive. Yep. Generally la, easier to drive. Mm -hmm. So that's why there are so many front wheel drives. But you see the Mercedes there, mm -hmm. the BMW there, mm -hmm. the Lexus there. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. The Porsche there. Mm -hmm. Are they front wheel drive or rear wheel drive? Rear wheel or maybe four wheel mostly. Yeah, rear mm -hmm. wheel and four wheel. Yeah. Yep. So, I've always loved rear wheel drive cars. Mm -hmm. Make you exciting. <laughs> but this is not a car you buy to be excited about. <laughs> True. Correct. You buy a Avanza because you need a Avanza. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know that it's made to for very utilitarian purpose lah. Mm -hmm. It's not made to make you, oh, Mr. Sim, you look good in a Avanza. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but the new car looks good lah. So yeah, it looks good, but it's mm -hmm. not, it's actually not a car that you buy to go and Show off, show off, uh, because uh, I mean it's just an Avanza. It's a car, you know. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a, it's a normal. It's a seven seater. Uh, it's seven a big seater. space. It's a utility car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. No, when you move house, you can show off. You see. Ah, <laughs> when you move house, when you, uh, you to take and seven, people cannot. <laughs> you have to take seven people to dinner, and the guy comes in a lotus. <laughs> <laughs> you know uh, what I mean? Or smart for two. Ah, uh, or smart for two. <laughs> smart for two. So, so smart. Uh, yeah, different, different usage, right? Yes, different yeah. usage. True. So people sometimes, sometimes people will compare. Wow, you buy a car, maybe not, not fun for drive, mm. but yeah, it is very useful. Yes. So guys, I think we are near the end of the drive. So I think we should conclude this, right? So. Please? I think this car is very good if you need a car for running around town. Mm -hmm. uh, you can go out station if you want. Uh. I have. I've taken. No my, problem at all. I've taken my Avanza out station. No problem know. at all. Uh, but it's not very fast. It's not very powerful. Mm -hmm. But it will get you there. Yep. Okay. If you want to drive 110, 120, no problem. This car will do it. If you want to drive 200, sorry lah. Go and get another Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Yeah, and if you need to carry a lot of people, this is one of the few seven seaters available. So here you got the seven seater. The bigger size is the Innova. Yeah, Innova right. is good actually. Innova is good, but it's also very big, lor. Yep. And fuel consumption will be an issue with a big engine and a heavy body. Mhm. Mm and then of course there is also the Fortuna, mm -hmm. which also can seat seven. Yep. But. I think you can buy two and a half Avanza <laughs> yeah. for, for one Fortuna. 
Yep. Okay. So that's another thing to consider. You can buy one and a half Avanzas for mm -hmm. one Innova. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the other seven seater is the maybe the Nissan Serena, which is quite big mm -hmm. and nice size. But then you got to pay like almost double of the Avanza, lo. Okay. You also buy the Proton Exora, right? Which is a seven seater. Mm -hmm. mm. And that one is not so expensive. Maybe about the same price as this. Sure. Yeah. Not about really. that. Yeah. I was told uh, that it's only seventy one thousand. I heard lah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I'm out of touch. I haven't seen. I haven't met anybody who bought a new Exora in about a year. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So I think they are running out. There must be a new model coming. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, given the options, I think this is one of the options that you can choose. Long. Very you economic. Want, yeah. Very. If you want economy, you want a low purchase price. Mm -hmm. You want high reliability. This is one of the cars to yep. consider. All right. So, Mr. Sim, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you, Uncle, for invite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me to make trouble. Kacau, kacau. <laughs> Every time, kacau, kacau. Okay, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to iGarage and also YS Kong Driving. Okay. See you, everyone. Bye.